Hi, my name is Luisa. I am People and Culture Manager at WorkPath and I'm glad you decided to tune in to our team podcast. Today again with another team member. So you can get exclusive insights to our people, positions and work environment. Alessia works in our customer success team and I'm looking forward to her story. Hi, Alessia. Hi, Luisa. Great to have you here. Great to be here. So would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, um, my name is Alessia. Um, I work in the customer success team at WorkPath. I am a program manager for training and enablement, and I've been working here for almost a year now. So there's an anniversary. Yes, very exciting. <laughs> yeah, also for us, um, we are happy to have you here. And um, for me, it would be really interesting to hear how you got to know about WorkPath. Yes, so actually I heard about WorkPath um, from some friends of mine who have been friends with uh, people who work here as well. So um, basically over uh, the Munich startup connection, so to say. And yeah, I've only heard good things about it. And then I was actually recruited by WorkPath about almost a year ago. Yeah, it was a pretty exciting uh, COVID-19 onboarding situation. <laughs> <laughs> a funny coincidence that you get recruited and um, heard about WorkPath from your friends at the same time. So what made you or what, what helped you with the decision to work at work path mm, so basically it was the new unique mix in my role that was very interesting because i work with a lot of different teams together so i am officially part of the customer success team but i kind of work at an in intersection between partner management um, we also do content creation together with the marketing team And also, well, basically we do user research uh, for the product team. So it's that mix and also being able to train and coach um, our customers. That was for me the reason to join. Mm -hmm. And would you like to say a bit more about your responsibilities in your job? Uh, you just mentioned there are trainings and um, like many cross-functional uh, responsibilities. Yes. So basically everything around the OKR process, um, everything around the enablement for our customers, that's um, my job. So I do trainings with them to teach them the methodology of OKRs, but I also do coachings. So basically once they have started, once they know all the ropes of uh, introducing OKRs, I also help them um, with like consulting and coaching. And at the same time, I'm also trying to pass on the knowledge that um, we are gaining through working with so many different um, customers and so many different industries to um, the rest of the world by actually um, making content with the marketing team and also to get all the insights that we gather also kind of ingrained in our products. And um, yeah, this is why it's very exciting. Cool. Yeah, it's great to hear uh, that you're, you like your job or you seem to like your job. And as you said, you started just one year ago. You almost worked the whole year remotely, right? So how is the situation at the moment? Uh, are you coming to the office or uh, did it change? Did you have the chance to see the team or to get to know people in the team? Yeah, so first of all, very, very odd not to be able to go to the office because sometimes you just get to know people better if you just have casual conversations. But throughout the summer last year, I was able to go to the office. Um, maybe I think it was three out of five days sometimes even um, because we had like very, let's say, good restrictions. We were being very careful um, and everybody had their own room. So everybody was able to actually outside at least interact with each other and that made a lot of difference and also um yeah right now we just we also very still very careful but it's it gives a lot of energy to be surrounded by the people that you work with every day and it's just very different if you're physically in the same room with someone yeah but at the same time it it also has the perks of being able to connect with people that are maybe not living in munich um, we also have a couple of people that are not working in munich so that's a very cool thing as well Yeah, thank you for your insights. I think in the very beginning or in the in the start of your, your work here, uh, you also wrote an article about remote onboarding for everyone who is interested in this topic. Yes, uh, because that's also a reason why I was very, I'm very excited still about WorkPath because 
the level of empathy and the level of care that everybody here has for each other is very, very big. So you're socially blind in so many ways, but um, everybody reached out, everybody tried to help. And I was actually the first one onboarding in a remote situation. So no one knew how, how this could work well. But I think the most important thing is that you try to learn from all these aspects and everything that comes. And that's one of the greatest things is that we're all learning together how to improve um, the experience for everyone. And I think that's a great preconditions especially in like uncertain times like these you need to be willing to learn and adapt yeah cool yeah totally and uh, i also remember that it was a big challenge in the very beginning when you started for all of us but uh, i think you mastered the situation quite well and uh, really happy to still have you here um <laughs> so talking about challenges um are there situations in your day-to-day -day work uh, where you actually enjoy being challenged Yes, I think the most interesting is that um, everybody lives the OKR process in a different way. And I see so many different facets and so many, um, let's say, ways of solving these. So that's very interesting because I learn something new. Every, basically, every coaching, every training I do with the customers is kind of different because everybody's unique. But I'm, I don't know, I'm piling up and um, basically a, um, a good challenge, so to say, that It never gets, um, yeah, every company is different and everybody has different challenges. Yeah, I think these challenges can especially be solved by working with OKRs, like how we do it. And uh, as I perceive it in our company, we also learn all the time or like in every cycle, we learn something new. And I think this is the most important also with this methodology, right? Yes, definitely. And also, um, there are so many things that have not been solved regarding OKRs. I feel like we're thought leaders in, in, in solving a lot of problems that have not been addressed yet. Things like how do you plan budgeting on, around OKRs? How you do you performance management in OKRs? It's uh, because OKRs is such a young method, at least in the in our realm uh, for our customers. There are so many unsolved challenges yet, and we're kind of like pioneering there. And that's super interesting. So when we talk about pioneering in a special field, it's always important to have a great team. And when you think about our team and our values, is there one where you would say like that is your most favorite? I think it's actually two. Um, so one is uh, the one about being fierce. And that's to me more about being able to push your own projects and to like work very independently. And that everything that you, when I decide to, to do something new or to like create a new format or something and just like pilot it and try it out and just own it and that's just very very empowering and of course I always like talk to my, my team about it and validate the idea before but it's I can just like try out things and that's very empowering very one of the reasons why I enjoy working at WorkPath and at the same time it's the we care Uh, value and that's to me about when I, whenever I have a, have a problem there's always like 10 people to be like okay I can help you I can do this and it's just little things if you I don't know sometimes I when I have something going wrong on in, in the platform for instance and when I'm doing a training and I just like send one message in, in in a channel and there are six developers who are like how can I help you so this is just like I don't know and they're the busiest people right so <laughs> And also within the customer success team, it's just a very, um, we work together. If it's, if it's, if it gets tough, I, I know I'm not standing there alone and I have my team behind me and I think that's worth a lot. Yeah. I also perceive it the same way. Really happy that we have this value. I'm really happy to, that we have people who care about, yeah, about the, the rest of the team. We are just um, looking for new team members all the time. Whom would you recommend to join WorkPath? So I would say if you're sitting there being frustrated um, about having maybe great ideas but not being able to execute them, if you look for an environment where you can shape things, where you can actually make a difference, and if you want to work for a company that is at the same time successful and humble, which is a very rare um, combination to me, then it's time to send your application. <laughs> Well said. <laughs> um, thank you very much, Alessia. It was a nice uh, talk with you. And um, yeah, I wish you a great day. 